Hi, I'm Victoria Weiss. I'm an instructor at the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine. I want to tell you about our research published in the American Journal of Physiology. This paper is about a human placental derived stem cell therapy that ameliorates experimental necrotizing and enterocolitis. We hope you take a look at our paper after this brief video introduction. Necrotizing enterocolitis is a life-threatening intestinal disease that is becoming a larger proportionate cause of morbidity and mortality in the NICU. This disease develops in the unique setting of an immature intestinal epithelium and underdeveloped immune system. An initial intestinal injury triggers a pathogenic cycle of damage that can lead to full bowel necrosis. Currently, there are no treatment options for this disease. Perinatal stem cells present a unique therapeutic approach. Specifically, placental stem cells have known immune modulatory functions, express factors that can directly target damaged epithelium and have the ability for potent paraffin signaling. In this paper, we hypothesize that a placental derived stem cell therapy could ameliorate established necrotizing and enterocolitis damage in the intestine. To investigate this, we used a newborn rat pup model of necrotizing enterocolitis that initiates intestinal damage within 24 hours. We then administered placental stem cells by intraperitoneal injection at 32 and 56 hours of disease induction. We examined the therapeutic effects across the multiple scales ranging from whole animal clinical symptoms to histological cellular damage using comprehensive quantitative analysis at each length scale. To assess intestinal damage at four days, we used image-based quantitative analysis histological scoring, and immunohistochemistry. We also used in vivo cell imaging and PCR to track the localization of the placental stem cells. We found that placental stem cell therapy improved the gross pathology and histological damage of necrotizing enterocolitis. Both the severity of the damage as well as the linear length of damaged intestine was reduced with placental stem cell therapy. While we hypothesized that the immune modulation would be a key repair pathway, we did not see significant overall reduction in inflammatory cytokine expression. Instead, the predominant reparative effects that we saw were observed in the epithelium. Intestinal stem cells and the panda cells are significantly reduced in necrotizing enterocolitis. However, these cells in the intestinal stem cell niche are restored with placental stem cell therapy. Our current findings suggest this niche support is a key mechanism of action of the placental stem cell therapy. Based on our cell tracking studies, this therapeutic effect was induced by a paraffin signaling as the placental stem cells did not fully engraft into the intestinal mucosa. In this animal model of necrotizing enterocolitis, we show placental derived stem cells can ameliorate established intestinal damage at the tissue and cellular levels by a paraffin signaling. While necrotizing enterocolitis is traditionally thought of as a heavily immune driven disease, our current data suggests that support of epithelial repair can also be an effective target in the development of treatment approaches for this disease. Additionally, the paraffin signaling mechanism further opens potential avenues of, for advanced therapeutic development. Overall, placental derived stem cells provide a critical research tool that can be further used to elucidate the key neonatal repair mechanisms that are needed to overcome necrotizing enterocolitis damage.